Fisherman's freezer is not always pretty. This looks pretty. Oh, cool. It's already in tin foil. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. You know, I have not had a proper meal yet today. It is just a little bit after four o'clock. I'm back out on the anchorage. I want to try this crawfish bread. We need to burn this anyway. We need to fire that grill. I got that yesterday. That's a campfire grill. As you see, I already have my fire ring ready to go. Look at this over here. There's a interesting box sitting on the rocks. This is my machete. Got delivered yesterday, but after I showed up, and picked up the packages this got delivered so this is a gerber machete just because it says gerber on it doesn't mean that it's going to be all that it was not expensive that's why i'm saying that right off the bat let's take a look at it you know normally i would just go down to a store like walmart or any store really hardware store and pick up a machete but for the last two months since i've been looking they're gone it's all about that shortage. Oh, it's a nice sheaf. Yeah, you're right. Check it out. Let's see. Is this... I think this was like 20-something, 30-something dollars. I don't remember. Not much. Ooh, look at that. Look at that bad boy. Pretty sharp. Not as sharp as I would like it. I'll have to sharpen that, but that'll do for now. Yeah, you're right, guys. It, it's not one of those cheap ones you get at Walmart, but it's not super expensive. I mean, it doesn't have a special butt on it or anything. That's just plastic. But, I mean, it is better than what I could get at Walmart. If, if that was there, I would have been happy with one of those real cheap ones from Walmart. It's just they haven't been in stock for like two months. And there's a lot of other things like that, but a lot of you guys already know that. Before I get any lines out, I want to get this fire started. I want to burn this off because there could be something on there that's harmful. Could just wash it, but firing it up is going to be better. There could be like oils on it or something that I don't really want on my food. This is a good start right here for now. Lucky that machete came today. We can use the cardboard for fire starter, though I did bring fire starter. Those are Vaseline cotton balls. We'll use those and a little bit of this cardboard. Kind of tear the layers away from each other. I'm just gonna haphazardly pile a bit of twigs and sticks, kind of broken up a little bit on top of this bit of cardboard. Get a couple of these out. There we go. Now that I got that fire going pretty good, which didn't take much effort, I'm going to start spreading the sticks out as I add them so eventually the flames hit everything here. That is looking good. We're going to let that burn, and here in a few minutes after the flames die down a little bit, I'll get my meal cooking. Looking again to make sure there's no Karens. Yeah, you're right. So this is a pretty safe place to do what I'm doing today. There are a lot of places where you guys fish on the river where you might have too many Karens. Sometimes that's the case. Yeah, you're right. All right, it is time to put this on. I've never had this before. Don't know if it's any good or not. It's not a real cheap thing, not super expensive. It was like eight. 99 nine bucks for this it just sounded good it sounded like an easy thing to do out here i wanted to do something a little more complicated but not on these rocks and i just really came out to fire this so we got enough heat to just let this sit there like that it's easy peasy wrap it in tin foil cook it finally getting to fishing can't wait to eat three ounces of lead bead 40 pound mainline same thing that's been going on for the past few days at this rocky spot. We're using a 5 aught small piece. And over there, almost the same rig. It's just an 8 aught octopus style circle hook with a bigger piece ahead.
Ooh. Oh, look at that. Get this water put away. Oh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> little baits first. We did have bites on the big bait. It was probably just a little gaff top. There's another one for the Barney reel. Nice. It's got a nice nice little fight to it this isn't like a huge fish though it's not big it's not super small either got a lot of weight on me right here doubting this is a gaff top yeah it just topped us topped the water right there tried to do a half beaver Oh, it's about to be retail right here. Nope. Yes. Oh, try. oh, there it goes. Oh. About maybe a 10 pound blue cat or so. Probably a little better. Probably like 12, in between 10 and 15 for sure. Nice. Oh no, flame just kicked up. We got to get that bread a little bit out from under that flame right there. Let's just put it on these rocks for the moment. Look at that corner of the mouth. Nice, decent. We're not gonna bother weighing this fish. He is a little over 10 pounds for sure. Not super huge, but not small. Pretty slimy. All right. Oh. Okay, you're gonna find your own way? I was gonna help you. You changed your mind. We'll see if this is ready. It's been on there a good while. It just needed to thaw and heat up. Sometimes when I'm cooking something covered in tin foil, I'll just throw it on the coals, but I did not want to burn this. Woo! Smoking. Yeah, perfect. Whew. Now, how good is it? Can't tell you yet. Don't taste horrible. It's okay. It's edible. It's coming out in pieces. Oh, yeah. Actually, I, I'm enjoying it. Probably because I'm super hungry. Getting a bite on that big bait. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat all this tonight. Whereas this is tasty. I mean, it's not horrible. I don't think it's worth the money. I think we got shrinkflation here. Not finding that many crawfish. And look how tiny they are. Wonder if they're even from Louisiana. Yep, I think we have shrinkflation. It's the size that it should be based on the package. But I don't know if, if it's stuffed with what it's supposed to be stuffed with or the amount. Uh, hello. Yeah, first one for the big bait. Still here? Yeah. Oh, I just got finished eating that crawfish bread. I could only eat just about half of it. I'm full. I don't have the appetite that I used to have when I was younger. It doesn't take much if I push myself. <coughs> I'll go to sleep if I eat more than I did. This is feeling halfway decent. I did have that other light that I got yesterday on the chesty, but I took it off not too long ago because it was causing the chesty to bounce too much. I think it would be better used on a tripod. This is feeling like a decent fish. Oh yeah, it's not bad. I do like the new light though. The one that I stopped using it, but I meant this one really. I like both of them. Oh. 
decent. Here, let's pretty decent. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Nice. Oh, he's got a big belly. Nice. I'm not gonna bother weighing this fish. He's somewhere in the high teens, 20 pounds, in between 15 and 20 pounds. Pretty nice, pretty decent blue cat. Yeah, you're right. All right. I am glad I released that fish when I did because as soon as I got up here, look at that. Come on. Come on, just take it down. It might be a small gaff top and we got a hook up. Look at that. Okay, let's get our fish. Whoa. Maybe it's Let's see, what does this feel like? Doesn't feel big right now. Whoa. Feels a little bigger right now. At first I thought we had just a fat gaff top. We could still though. He could be coming up against something, but I don't think he is. It's colder tonight than it was last night. These gaff tops should be running out towards the Gulf. Yeah, I think we got something other than a gaff top. It's starting to feel much bigger. It's trying to beaver tail out there. Oh, yeah. Looks like a blue cat. Yeah, about the same size as the other two. Maybe maybe 15 pounds, 16 pounds. Not big. Nice. Nice. Yeah, about somewhere around 10. 10 to 14 pounds or something. It's not very big at all. I'm going to go ahead and release this one. Just like so. There he goes. Oh, okay. I just got up to try to see what time it was in this hit real quick. Didn't even get a chance to get my phone out. Oh. Hmm, this feels good. What do we have? It's feeling heavy. Right up here against the rocks. About a few feet out. Holding its head down. 
Are we gonna get the scale out for this one? I don't know. Oh, now it's kind of starting to swim towards us. Oh, a little fight right here, keeping its head down. I'm beginning to wonder, oh, well, that tells me we don't have a stingray. Just had some beaver tail action right there. Oh, there it is, fighting right in front of us. It's, I think that's a flathead. That, yeah. Not a very big flathead, but come on, buddy. Flathead nonetheless. Nice. Just a few pounds, maybe about eight. There he goes. Metal woodpecker, iron woodpecker, not a woodpecker. I don't know. Well, let me tell you something. I hurt my leg out here really bad two nights ago and it's hurting now. So time to go, time to go get off this leg. Yeah, you're right guys, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.